Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a humongous empties video for you. Um, I've got tons of products in here so that it's not a hundred years long. Let's get started. First off, I have the Avalon Organics Vitamin C Renewal Balancing Toner. I really liked this stuff. This is, I got this at Whole Foods. I want to say it was like seven or eight dollars. Um, really affordable. Doesn't have any crazy ingredients in it. It does have a lot of vitamin C in it, uh, as you can tell by the name. So I found in the winter, this was a little too harsh for me. I could have maybe used it like every other day. Definitely not like an everyday kind of thing. But I definitely will repurchase this. Right now I'm using the Origins one, but when that finishes, I think I'm going to go back to this. Because this was a really good deal, and it's got really good ingredients. So I like that a lot. Next up, this matches. This is the Avalon Organics Vitamin C Renewal Refreshing Cleansing Gel. Same thing. This has really good ingredients. Um, I have another one. I did repurchase it. It takes forever to go through because um, just like one pump is all you need. I just put a pump on my Clarisonic and then use that all over my face. Um, I really love this for cleansing my skin. The vitamin C is great. Can't say enough good things about this. Next up is the Bioderma. Everybody's heard about this, I'm sure. People talk about it all the time. Um, I got mine off Amazon. I don't think, I mean, it wasn't that expensive, like $15 maybe. Um, and it's really big, so it lasted a really long time. The only reason why I don't think I'm going to repurchase this is it's got propylene glycol in it, and I'm not into that. So I'm not going to repurchase it, but I did like it while I had it. Um, next up is the Corez Shower Gel in Basil Lemon. I did really like this stuff. Um, I didn't repurchase it just because, I don't know, I wasn't in love with it. So wanted to try new things. But I did like this. The scent was really good. I don't know if it still smells. It was really refreshing. Um, the lemon's good, but it doesn't taste, it doesn't taste, it doesn't smell like pine salt, which I don't like. So I did like that about this. Next up, I have these Alba Botanica Hawaiian 3-in-1 Cleansing Towelettes, Deep Pore Purifying Pineapple Enzyme. Um, these are pretty good. Um, I don't use makeup wipes that often, just kind of those days where you're really tired and it's like, you can't go to sleep without taking off your makeup. This makes it a little bit easier. You can sit in bed and do it instead of standing by the sink. Um, so they lasted me a long time. They didn't dry out, even though I had them for a really long time. So definitely would recommend these. They smell really good too. So um, right now I'm using the Aveeno ones just because that's what I picked up. But um, I'll probably repurchase these again in the future. Um, let's see. Up next. I have the Aveda Smooth Infusion Shampoo. I love this stuff. My hair is naturally wavy, so it gets kind of frizzy. This stuff really pumps it up with moisturizer without being too heavy and um, helps it to be not frizzy at the ends. Um, I have a giant liter of this right now. This stuff is pricey, so if you don't like if you're not into pricey shampoos, don't go for this. But um, I really like it. I think the liter is your best bet for price. I think a liter of this is like $80, so it's kind of crazy, but it lasts a really long time. So I can justify it, because if I was getting this size bottle, like you would get at the drugstore, I would have gone through almost close to $80 worth of those in the same amount of time that I would go through a liter of this. So some people might think I'm crazy for spending that much on shampoo, but I love this stuff. I also have their Aveda Smooth Infusion Style Prep Smoother. Defends against humidity for up to 12 hours and I think it really does. You just put a few pumps at the bottom of your hair. My hairdresser recommended this for me to use as a heat protectant as well. And I feel like whether I let my hair, hair air dry or I blow it dry, this stuff keeps it from getting frizzy. Um, this stuff might have been... $30. I'll try to list it down below for y'all. Um, but this lasts a really good good while because you just put it in the ends and just a few pumps will do you. So, Also, 
Aveda stuff smells amazing. So that's another <laughs> reason why I love that stuff. Next up, more Aveda products. Um, I got this stuff. This is the Damage Remedy Restructuring Conditioner. Helps repair and strengthen hair. Um, this stuff smells really good too. I got this just to use like once a week because although the tops of my hair, top of my hair gets really oily, the bottoms get really dry. So I just got the conditioner um, to put at the bottoms just to get a little more moisture in there. Just once a week. This, I will list the price below because I don't remember. Um, but just using it once a week, it lasts a really long time. I also have the Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair with Quinoa Protein. I got this before I got this. Um, this I liked, but I like this a little bit better because I think it keeps the, it does the same thing that this does, but it keeps the frizz away too. So this is my go-to. Next up, more hair stuff. I have this Dove Dry Shampoo. I liked this good enough. Um, it's kind of pricey for a drugstore shampoo. I think this was like five bucks. So to me, the Suave works just as well, and you can get like two for five at Target. So I haven't repurchased this, but if I was somewhere they didn't have Suave and I needed some dry shampoo, I would pick this up. Um, let's see. Don't think there's any more. Oh, I lied. Last hair product. This is from Alterna. This is the Hemp Strength Tussled, 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 Tussled Wave Spray. And um, it's got no parabens, no gluten, and no phthalates. I liked this. Like I said, my hair is naturally wavy. So um, what I would do is just let it, you know, spray a bunch in my hair and let it air dry. So this is really easy if you just want kind of like a wash and wear kind of hairstyle. Just spray this in and then I'm good to go. I did repurchase this. This stuff actually, quick tip, if you like Alterna stuff, their stuff is really pricey too. Hot Look has their stuff all the time. So I just pick a new one up every time I see it on Hot Look because it's like half the price. Okay, so that is the end of the hair stuff. Now let's do some body stuff. This is the L'Occitane, um body lotion, olive oil. It's like unscented. I liked this good enough. It was very, very lightweight, so definitely not like a wintertime moisturizer, but it worked well in the summer. Um, it synced in to the skin nicely, so it didn't get, leave you greasy. Um, I haven't repurchased it, but I liked it. I got it at Marshall's, so... I probably wouldn't purchase it full size, but if I saw it at Marshall's again, I might get it. Okay, next up is this Kiss My Face Moisture Shave in Key Lime. I really liked this stuff. It's like a lotion that you use to, to um, shave. I've tried the EOS one before, and I didn't like it. It didn't really blend to my skin. It was like chunky. I don't know. Maybe that was just me, but that's what I like. That's what I felt. This stuff is really good. It blends in really nicely to the skin when you put it on and gives a really nice shave, leaves you feeling moisturized, and the scent was good too. I liked this, and I would definitely pick this up again. Right now, I'm trying the Honest Shave Oil to see if that's a little bit more moisturizing. Um, I'll probably repurchase one of those two once I finish, and we'll see. Let's see. This is kind of like body, skin, face, anywhere kind of thing. This is the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. It says, used to hydrate dry, parched skin, relieve minor irritation and itching due to eczema and other conditions for the face and elsewhere. I love this stuff. I love First Aid Beauty stuff because they don't have crazy fragrances or harsh ingredients. Um, this stuff is great for eczema. I do get eczema in the winter time and this stuff is really great. It's six ounces. This stuff is huge. I think it's like 30 bucks. I mean, I don't know, you can't see in there because it's white, <laughs> but this, this tub is huge. Like next to my face, look how big this is. <laughs> I mean, you get a good amount of product and a little goes a long way. Definitely will re be repurchasing this. 
Next up, I have a Modern Origins Modern Friction Nature's Gentle Term Abrasion. This is a scrub. I liked this. It didn't have any harsh chemicals in it. A little goes a long way. I think, I believe it's made from walnut shells? No, rice. Um, and you just rub in a little bit. goes a really long way. This lasted me forever. I think it was like 30 bucks, but this stuff lasts forever, so it's definitely worth it. I will probably repurchase that too. Next up, I have the Origins High Potency Nitamins Mineral Enriched Renewal Cream. I love this stuff as a night cream. I have dry skin, so if you have oily skin, you might not like this because this is thick. This stuff, you put it on and you can feel it on top of your skin. But when you wake up the next day, your skin feels like plump and moisturized, um, but not greasy. So I just am obsessed with this stuff. I can't um, say enough good things about it. It is expensive. It's like $40 for 1.7 ounces. But another little tip I found is Origins gift sets will usually include either a full size or a small one of this, and you can get a huge discount on this. So whenever I can, I try to buy this in a gift set because you'll get like extra free stuff and it's like I was gonna buy this anyway, so I might as well just get the gift set. So definitely look for a gift set when it comes to these. And I have another one, which is a little smaller size. This was probably from a gift set. This is one ounce. Um, but a little goes a long way and this stuff will last you a pretty good time. Definitely repurchasing this. This is like my Holy Grail nighttime moisturizer. Another Origins product I have is the Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. I love this stuff for the daytime. Um, it's lightweight. It smells so good. It smells like vitamin C. Like, it smells like orange juice. It's, I love it. I love, love this stuff. Um, definitely have repurchased and will continue to repurchase this stuff. Next up, I have the Origins of Perfect World Antioxidant Moisturizer with White Tea. Can you tell I like Origins stuff? Um, this I liked, but I like the ginseng better, so I did not repurchase this, and I got the ginseng instead. I think the ginseng is actually cheaper, too. Another face thing is the Ula Henriksen Invigorating Night Gel. Oil-free gel helps vanish the appearance of fine lines, pigmentation, and breakouts with alpha hydroxy acid. Um, I did not repurchase this. It was a little bit harsh for my skin. I find alpha hydroxy acid does not always go well with my skin. Um, if you have less sensitive skin, you probably would like it. I could use it like once a week. And to me, that was just, it wasn't worth it. It was, it was too harsh. For the benefits. Like the benefits did not outweigh how harsh it was on my skin. So I didn't repurchase it. Next up, face wise, is an Origins Ginseng, little small size. This was from a gift set, and this is how I realized I like the ginseng better than the perfect world. This is just a small sample size, but I love this stuff. Next up, I have the Tarte Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment. This stuff didn't really have a strong smell, I don't think. It is 0.35 ounces and it's like 35 bucks. I didn't see a huge difference in my eyes when I used this, so I did not repurchase it. Um, it just wasn't my thing. This is the Ula Henriksen Ultimate Lift Eye Gel. This I got in a little set, I think, with that other one. It was okay. Um, it says it's supposed to reduce puffiness and wrinkles with cucumber and calendula, which is um, dandelion. But I didn't, I mean, I don't have puffy eyes, don't really have any wrinkles, so I didn't see a huge, it, it's not moisturizing because it's a gel. So my biggest problem with my eyes is that they get dry in the wintertime and then they feel dry and crepey. This didn't help that. Um, I didn't see any other effects that were good or bad, so I didn't repurchase it. Okay, next up, this is my all-time favorite makeup remover. This is the Basha 
or Bosha, however you say it, makeup breakup cool cleansing oil. There's a hair on there. Um, this stuff is awesome. You just pump one or two pumps on. I usually start with my eyes first, and you just gently, not even like you don't rub or tug because it just glides over your eyes. And then once you finish getting most of your eye makeup off, you just kind of move on to the rest of your face. And then when you add some water with it, it rinses totally clean and all of your makeup is gone down the drain. This stuff is holy grail. I've tried others. Nothing compares to this. Definitely repurchasing this. Okay, last up, let's see. This is the Crabtree and Evelyn Less Source Hand Therapy. Um, lotion. I like this stuff. It smells pretty good. Doesn't have any crazy scent to it. Just kind of fresh. Um, it is moisturizing. These things are perfect to throw in your purse. I love getting the gift sets that are like six mini ones because they're the perfect size and you can get those at Marshall's for like half price. So definitely going to repurchase this. Have repurchased it and got some for Christmas. So I've got a lot of these in stock. Last but not least, I've got some makeup things. I have this Urban Decay Cannonball Ultra Waterproof Mascara. It looks like this. I went into Sephora and I said I wanted a mascara that was so waterproof I could go swimming in it. Obviously, I was exaggerating, but I have very watery eyes, so I just wanted something that I could not put all over my lashes, but maybe put as a final layer to make them waterproof. And I did not find this to, the girl told me to try this because she said that like I could go swimming in this and it wouldn't come off and I did not find that to be the case at all. Um, I don't know, I thought that some of my other eye mascaras that are not even waterproof are more waterproof than this one. Have you tried this and you had other, uh, other results? Because this did not work for me. Not repurchasing it, never will probably. Next up, I have Corez Qu Quercetin and Oak Concealer. I'm pretty sure, I mean, Sephora does not carry the Corez makeup line anymore, which I'm kind of bummed about because I used to use their foundation and I loved it. Um, I think you can buy it on like HSN or QVC or something. Um, I haven't really looked into that too much, but I did really like this stuff. Uh, mine was in the shade Light. I might repurchase it one day if I can get my hands on it, um, but I don't have it right now. I have some Benefit Erase Paste. I did like this stuff. This is in the shade Fair. The only thing that I didn't like about this is that it's in a tub. So I have to either bring a brush with me or use my fingers, and I'm not crazy about using my fingers just because I feel like it makes it less sanitary. That's the only reason why I didn't repurchase this pretty sure. Um, it did do a really good job of concealing, so maybe one day I'll repurchase it again and just bite the bullet. We'll see. I also have a Laura Mercier Universal Loose Setting Powder. I do really like this stuff. Um, you can turn this little thing and it'll, for like traveling, it'll cover up the holes, which I really like because I hate when you use loose powder to travel and then you get to the store to your destination and you go to open it up and all of the powder is out of here and into here and then it's like this game of like trying to tap it back in and somehow get it back in there so I do really like that aspect of it it covers I mean it doesn't really cover it sets nicely lets your makeup helps your makeup stay on all day I want to say it look it does make you look a little bit powdery so you want to have a light hand with it but if you go overboard then you can use like a little setting spray like this and it'll help with the powdery aspect this is the urban decay Scandinavia all-nighter makeup setting spray oh and by the way I did repurchase this so I think it's a pretty good deal um, it might be like 30 bucks but a little like I said goes a long way so I think it's a pretty good deal Okay, back to this. This stuff I love. I don't know what's in here. It says that the have ingredients on here. I guess there were ingredients on the box, but I really don't know if they have like some sort of spell in here or what, but it works so good at keeping your makeup on 
all day long. It keeps it in place, makes it look exactly the same, your blush doesn't fade, I'd like yada yada yada. I can't say enough good things about this stuff. Definitely have repurchased, I have one right here, and we'll continue to repurchase because you only need like three or four sprays and this is four fluid ounces so it'll last you forever. And my last product is the Bare Minerals Stroke of Light Eye Brightener. This is in the shade Luminous. I liked this stuff. I like the little applicator. Um, I didn't repurchase it because I don't really know why I didn't repurchase it. Hmm. I might have to look into that. Maybe I'll get another one. But this is what it looks like. And I like the shade, I remember. I remember liking the consistency and the applicator. I don't really know why I didn't repurchase it. Probably just because I can't ever stick with the same products. I always have to try new things. So that is it. My gigantic empties bin is empty. And now I can finally throw my trash away. So please let me know if you tried any of those products. If you had the same results I did or different results. And if you see anything similar that you know of that I might like, let me know. Because like I said, I'll try anything once. <laughs> so if you like this video, please like it down below and subscribe, um, leave a comment, anything. I love reading your comments and I hope you all having a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.